Sarah, thank you for joining me. Excited to get to know you. So I wanna just jump right into it. You born and raised Chicago. If someone had 24 hours to spend in the city and never been there before, what are you telling them to do? Oh, this is such a good question. There's so many food places that they would have to hit that it wouldn't be possible. So I would just say Portillo's and Beatrix for a nice coffee. Hopefully it's summer. <laughs> Hopefully they're not there in winter so they can go to the beach, have a full day, bar hop. It's a great city in the summer. So one thing I love is your sense of style and fashion. Thank you. So I want to know if you have two minutes to throw together an outfit, what are you, what are you throwing together? Oh my god, these questions are so hard <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, I would pick out my sneakers first, so because that's the most important part, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then I would throw together probably something leather on bottom with a crop top and an oversized something. Who are some of your fa fashion icons? I have mood boards where I just really? kind of look around and follow certain people and then put things together and it's like my inspo in the morning or when I'm going to an event or something. So if you could only wear one pair of sneakers, like a like a model, one pair of sneakers for the rest of your life? I would probably go with off-white fours. Okay. The cream color, because they would match everything. That's a good answer. Why the fours? I love fours. It's like one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. And then it's just a shoe that could go with dresses or pants or whatever. Jumping away from fashion, I'm personally super passionate about mental health and um, amplifying also and supporting the black community. So I'd love to know more about Hood Space Shy, how that started, what your goals are, and just wh where you plan to take it in the future. Yeah, so Hood Space started um, kind of partly because of my personal journey with my mental health. My first few years in the league, I kind of struggled with anxiety. I started meditating, doing yoga, I started breath work and journaling, and just kind of reading and looking up, you know, what I could do for myself in a holistic way. And uh, it really changed um, the player that I was. And I started it, obviously, to be better on the soccer field, but it also changed me off the field. I was more present in my daily life. I felt like I was a better mom and a better human. And so Hood Space started with that in mind, but for the black and brown community, because those resources aren't always available mm -hmm. in the black and brown community and I felt like as a mixed person I have the privilege and the access to bring it. That's really what the goal is and, and why it started and obviously now that I'm in Los Angeles I would love to be able to host some clinics and do some things and really get it off the ground here and running. What is your kind of daily routine to, to stay mindful? Meditation is the biggest thing and the hardest thing because mm -hmm. it's like it, it is so hard still after years of doing it to sit down and be still and just witness myself. But I think meditation is, is the biggest game changer for me. So I struggle with meditation. Again, I'm trying very hard to be more mindful and to stay present. What advice do you have for someone that's trying to be mindful or maybe starting meditation for the first time? So my advice for meditation is just witness whatever it is like if you feel impatient just witness it don't I think the biggest thing is like you push things away you're like wait no I have to I have to feel patient or I have to feel a certain mm -hmm. way and the whole point of meditation is just witnessing yourself for who you really are and how you really feel it's not about being the perfect meditator and having no thoughts it's about just watching yourself that's what I used to do I used to sit there and be like okay don't think me too. Okay. At the beginning, and then I'm, I'm like, like stop, stop, stop. <laughs> um, So I also really like that you prioritize affirmations, journaling. I like to do that as well. I just want to know if you're comfortable sharing what are some affirmations that you practice every day. So for me, like recently, my affirmation has been all around being divine. And I'm divine. And then my other intention right now is I'm worth the expense. Because I feel like as women, we so often you know, try to please or make people happy or be like, oh no, it's okay. And it, I'm like trying to step into my divinity and be like, I'm, I'm worth this. This is what I'm worth. On Twitter, I read that your Chicago teammates voted you most likely to get into a fight with a stranger. I'm kind of curious to know more about that because I mean, I feel like we're very similar. Same, I don't, I don't play professional soccer and I haven't been voted that, but I probably would also <laughs> get in a fight with a stranger. What made them vote you that? Because I'm feisty and I'm fire. I'm hey. super fiery, so I'm all about, you know, respect and being kind, but once the line gets crossed, I'm not gonna step down. I'm just gonna be honest. I hate that. <laughs> that's what makes you a good defender. <laughs> right, maybe that's maybe that is. If you're comfortable, I would love to know, like, tell us about Caden. How would you describe your son? Caden is amazing. He's playful, he's fun, he's sensitive and sweet, and I feel like he's just He's just a ball of fun, and I feel like he has a sensitive side, which is great to raise a boy that, you know, is empathetic and sensitive like that. That's wonderful. Well, I just want to close with, if no one's told you this today, you're doing a wonderful job, and you're a great mom. 
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for sitting down with me.